Namaskar. Today I am going to say about logarithm. First of all, logarithms was introduced by John Napier. It is actually used for calculating difficult divisions, powers and multiplication. Now let's discuss about logarithms. Let five equals to ten power x. Then we say five is the log rhythm of six. That is log five or log five base ten. Now let's see the examples. Example: two cube, eight, four square, sixteen, five cube, one twenty-five, seven square equals to forty-nine. This is in the form of exponential. Now let's convert this into logarithmic form. First one, two cube equals to eight. Log eight base two equals to three. Second one, four square equals to sixteen. Log sixteen base four equals to two. Third one, log One twenty-five base five equals to three. Fourth one. Log forty-nine base seven equals to two. From this we conclude that log n base y equals to y. Employs y power x equals to n. Now we convert in return logarithmic form into exponential form. Log three forty three base seven equals to three. Employs Seven cube equals to three forty three. Second one. Log hundred base ten equals to two. Employs ten square equals to hundred. Now let's discuss about the properties of logarithm. First one log of six. We can write log six as log two into three. That is equal to log two plus log three. From this we can say that log of x y base y equals to log x base y plus log y base y. Let's discuss about second property. Let log Fifteen b. Log fifteen we can write it as log sixty by four. It is equal to log sixty minus log four. 
from this we say that log of x y by base a equals to log x base a minus log y base a. Now third property. Log of sixteen. You can write it as log two power four. It is equals to four log two. Second example. Log two fifty six. It can be written as log four power four. It is equals to four log four. From this we conclude that log a power m equals to m log a. Next fourth property. Exam first we write ten power one equals to ten. Second one two power two equals to two. Third one three power one equals to three. Now conversion of this exponential form into logarithmic form is. Log ten base ten equals to one. Log two base two equals to one. Log three base three equals to one, etc. From this we conclude that log a base a equals to one. From this logarithm chapter we conclude that logarithm is applicable. Only for negative values and not applicable for negative values and zero, and it is applicable only for positive values.